And we start tonight with growing pressure on State Superintendent Ryan Walter. Attorney General Gettner Drummond sent a, Walters a scathing letter after the AG's office got dozens of complaints from people who said OSDE had ignored open records requests. News Force Spencer Humphrey is here with the fallout. Spencer. Yeah, guys, in that letter, Drummond was not only upset that Walters and OSDE had not responded to those people's open records requests, but also that they continue to ignore even the AG's office as they attempt to try to help him comply with the law. The language. You know, I've only heard of letters like this. Strong enough to even set off alarm bells for former assistant Oklahoma Attorney General Tim Gilpin. This is just not something you want to receive. Uh, particularly for a statewide elected official. It's not a good thing. In a July 16th letter to State Superintendent Ryan Walters, Attorney General Gentner Drummond made one thing very clear. It looks like you're in violation of the Open Records Act. Drummond told Walters he'd gotten an alarming number of complaints about unanswered open records requests at OSDE. He sent Walters this list of 42 complaints from different media outlets of open records requests dating back to January of last year. Drummond writing he'd tried numerous times to work with OSDE on the complaints, but that OSDE inconceivably ignored even his office. He told Walters that is unacceptable, giving him until last Friday to either comply with the law and fulfill those requests or meet with Drummond at his office. But the AG's office tells me that Friday deadline came and went without ever getting a response from Walters or anyone at OSDE. You know, not to respond to the Attorney General uh, is a pretty serious thing. Serious, and Gilpin says quite possibly criminal. At some point, the Attorney General has to sit down and decide if he's going to present it to a grand jury and see if they indict. Last fall, House Speaker Charles McCall said Walters would have to commit a crime in order for him to consider impeaching him. That's the level of infraction that you you have to meet for, for this body to um, consider something uh, that strong. But then there's Republican Mark McBride, who we told you last week now wants Walters impeached. My deal now is we're past looking for a felony or something really egregious. And criminal charges or not, he says it's time. We're, we're looking at incompetence. We, we've We've got to take take control. I mean, the legislature, we, we've got to step up to the plate. Here we go. Now, I reached out to OSDE spokesperson with several questions this afternoon about the AG's letter. He didn't respond. Meanwhile, on the note of impeachment tonight, multiple sources confirmed to me numerous Republican House members have signed on to a letter calling for Spe House Speaker Charles McCall to open a formal investigation into Ryan Walters, which could result in an impeachment vote. Additionally, three House Republicans released a statement today with some harsh words for Walters. In that lengthy statement, they wrote, quote, Walters' behavior is unbecoming of any leader, especially the highest ranking person in the Oklahoma public school system. Of course,